Let's look at some examples of solving exponential equations. For example, let's solve this equation for x. Now, although these bases are different, they're both powers of 3. So let's write 9 as 3 squared, which will still be raised to the x plus fourth power. And we'll write 27 as 3 cubed, still raised to the 1 minus x power. And now, by properties of exponents, we can multiply the exponents. That is, we have 3 raised to the 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 3 raised to the 3 times 1 minus x. And now that these bases are the same, we know that these exponents have to be the same as well. And this is a direct result from the fact that exponential functions are one-to-one. -one. Therefore, we have 2 times x plus 4 is equal to 3 times 1 minus x. And now let's distribute both the 2 and the 3, which gives us 2x plus 8 is equal to 3 minus 3x. And now we'll bring all the x terms to one side and the numbers to the other which gives us 2x plus 3x is equal to 3 minus 8, or 5x is equal to negative 5. And now dividing both sides by 5 will give us our answer of x is equal to negative 1. All right, let's look at another example. Now the first thing to notice here is that 16 is a power of 4. In fact, it's 4 squared, isn't it? Which means we can rewrite this equation as follows. 4 raised to the 5y minus y squared is equal to 4 squared raised to the negative third power. And now on the right, we can multiply those exponents, which gives us 4 raised to the 5y minus y squared is equal to 4 raised to the 2 times negative 3, or negative 6th power. Again, now that these bases are the same, these exponents will be as well. That is, 5y minus y squared is equal to negative 6. And now let's bring all the terms to one side, which would give us y squared minus 5y minus 6 is equal to 0. And now the left-hand side can factor. It factors into y minus 6 times y plus 1. Now we have a product of factors equal to 0, which means either the first factor is 0 or the second factor is 0. And if the first factor is 0, then y is equal to 6. Or if the second factor is 0, then y is equal to to negative 1, which would be our answers. And these are a few examples on how we can solve exponential equations. We get the bases the same, and then we equate the exponents. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.